In this Sims 4 build challenge, we can only use every single item only one time. Let's say I'm going to make a dining room table. I could only use this chair once, meaning I would have to find other chairs that match this one for every single chair that I put around the table. Obviously, this is gonna get messy for like kitchens, if I have to make counters, exterior with windows, it'll be messy, let's give it a go. <laughs> I think the last time I did this, I've done this once before and I don't think I included the exterior in the challenge. So today we are definitely doing that and I I kind of feel like going for like a cottage. I want to make sure that if I am using every single item only one time, I don't want to have a particularly big house, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking we go A-frame today. I haven't made an A-frame house in literally so long. I feel like everyone kind of has a different way of doing this. I just go in with a half gabled roof. You're gonna want to make like a rectangular shell, put it to the left, and then once you've reached the middle with your roofing piece, you can copy and paste and put the other roof on the other side and you got yourself an A-frame roof. I'm actually also gonna build out on the side here. I'm gonna go on the second floor though because I want to do like a patio underneath I think. So my build is gonna look something like this. That roof is a steep steep boy. I, can't, I think I also want to do like a balcony. Ooh, that's not gonna be easy. Wait, unless we kind of do that and did like a rooftop thing up there. Would that look weird? What I'm gonna do with my roofing is I'm gonna pull this in and like copy and paste a few times so that I have three different panels. One of them is gonna have glass. Should I do this like extreme mode and even count roof paint? Like how many black metal roof paints are there for me to use. Oh, actually, I think I can do it. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side, so I'm just gonna copy and paste, put these on the other side, and we're gonna have to change up the roofing. I love how I even asked the question about extreme mode. I'm like, should we do extreme mode? And you guys are like, yes, yes, absolutely yes. To continue on with like the metal, I'm gonna go in with this one from Island Living, and maybe, oh no, that's the only like opposite one. This glass, so we're changing it up, and then yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to settle for like, no matter what I do, it's gonna end up looking different. I think I'm gonna use that one. Love that snowy escape roof paint lately. I don't know why. I'm gonna raise this up. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work with my foundation because I want this to wrap around under and since I've got my roof pieces in a weird spot, it's gonna look a little strange. Can I literally just like, uh, no. <laughs> so I'm gonna build up my patio. I'm just using a random fence for now. I'm even using different stairs in the front, in the back. So these ones are from Island Living in the white swatch and then over here, these are just the regular like white base game ones for now. I do need to roof this part. Now I don't know if I want to roof it or if I want to do like a rooftop patio or yield faithful pergola, but I'd kind of prefer it to be like sticking out of here. Let's use this from Island Living. I, oh wait, I can't use two. Oh my God, I already almost lost this challenge. I was gonna say I never use this one and I like it. Okay, maybe I can put that like at the front. I wonder if this would make some kind of cool entrance. I'm using this thing here from Get Together. I love that piece. I always forget about it, but I kind of want to do like a balcony right here. I did delete that one area that I had poking out because I didn't like how it had that separate at the top. So I'm gonna use this from Get Together, I think. I am gonna go for like cozy, like cottage vibes. So I wanna go for warm, not so much modern, which is already what I'm heading towards, I can see. So we're gonna pull it back a little bit. Let's get our wallpaper. I think I'm gonna go straight for eco lifestyle, like wood. I'm using wood from base game and I'm gonna go in with this foundation here. And I think I'm gonna have to change the color of my stairs. Luckily the Island Living ones, they both have that black swatch. So we're doing pretty good so far. I'm nervous about the windows mostly and the landscaping. Like if I can only use every tree only one time, I think it's gonna be a little bit rough. I'm gonna go in with like black. Let me get my color filter on actually. Color filters are gonna help us a lot here. This way I can kind of see like which ones actually look similar. Like I feel like that's not too bad. That outdoor retreat one is perfect. There we go. So let's get some windows. And I do want to do this as a different color. I don't want it to be too light, but I want there to be like a little bit of a difference. You know what I mean? So for my door, oh, what about cottage living with that little wreath and the butterfly? That's really cute. Or even this one. I never use this door. <gasps> Ooh, I like it, but is there a good swatch? Oh my god, the blue. The blue. I'm sold. That's so cute. Wait, what if I went in with like some blue brick over here? Oh my god, it's one of those indecisive days. I can feel it, but that might look kind of cool. I can't tell yet. I'm basing everything purely off of that door. <laughs> okay, windows. So my plan was to use like these. Oh god. Oh no. They glitch with my roof. You know what? I might have to do that little bump out thingy. One hour. I have figured it out. Okay, so I have to shrink these. I thought I could take the easy route, but I was wrong. Let this be noted that if you think you're doing something the easy way in The Sims, you're doing it wrong. I have a lot of adjusting to do. Please hold. Okay, I fixed it. So for my windows, 
I changed everything. I'm going in with Cottage Living because they actually have a different variety. Like I have multiple different shutters that I can use. I also really like the blue, so I'm gonna roll with that. Also, if you see the color scheme change like a hundred times in this challenge, no, you didn't, okay? I'll figure it out eventually, I promise. All of this changing things around will be worth it in the end. Anyway, I think I'm finally content with the color scheme. Let's go in and add all the details. So I do wanna add a chimney. Ooh, actually that one's cute from Eco Lifestyle. I do wanna add planter boxes, keeping in mind though that I can't use the same one more than one time. So I have to make sure that if I do use them, they look like somewhat similar. Hot take, a hot spring back here. This could look so cute. I might actually want to put it like in the front. I think with the landscaping, that could look so pretty. A lot of my friend decor stuff is gonna be from Cottage Living, but the only problem I can see myself running into is with the lighting. Like I can use that out here. We can use this in a white swatch, maybe this one. And this is nice because I don't think I'm gonna have an issue wanting to use like these lights inside. I also opened up debug, so I have a little bit more options for landscaping from Cottage Living. Look at this cute willow tree from Cottage Living debug. I'm actually using these base game debug rocks here to make this hot spring a little bit more private since I put it like right in the front of the yard. Even though I'm building in Brindleton Bay, we're kind of on more of like the private side of that world, just in case you know. And for this right here, I think I'm just gonna use some get together to rain paint. And in the backyard, I'm picturing some like farming of some kind. So I'm gonna use every little item here possible. All of these different like eco lifestyle ones from debug. I wanna do some landscaping around this thing, but I'm running out of like unique plants. The person who lives here is definitely like a gardener or something. We're going really heavy on like the garden supplies in the back. And then up here, I'm considering doing like a candle making station. I haven't used one of those in a while. So put that candle making station right there. I'm gonna use this blue rug here and I'm trying to make sure that I use items that I don't think I'm gonna wanna use inside just to save us the struggle in advance. And we can fit the toddler lights up here, but only one. <laughs> yeah, this is cute. I quite like this. Upstairs, I added the fireplace upstairs. We've got the candle making station, a big, big old plant and just some eco lifestyle clutter. I'm adding literally every option for floor lighting outside that I can. Just hiding that to make sure that this is like lit up a little bit. And there it is at night. I love it. I think this is adorable with like the little tree in the back as well. I think it's cute. I really like the willow tree in the hot spring over there. I really like how it like pulls it together. So we're gonna go inside. This is where the challenge is gonna get a little bit more interesting because I don't know. I just feel like it's gonna be hard to match like certain things uh, with like what I wanna go with. We are gonna end up with a lot of mismatching items and we're gonna have to like try and make it work. I don't know how we're gonna do it. And I'm hoping we don't run into too many roofing issues. Okay, what have I used for flooring already? Cottage living and jungle adventures. So inside, I think I'm gonna use eco lifestyle. I'm gonna put my stairs before I forget about it because I don't have a whole lot of room in this like hallway area, which is where I want my stairs to be. So I'm gonna do that. And then I think over here, this should be like a bedroom. I could even do like two bedrooms. We actually have a lot of room in here. Maybe, we'll see. Let's see if I can do like two bedrooms there. We could do like a smaller kid's bedroom here. Our stairs are gonna have to go, hopefully like along this side because I don't have any windows there. Okay, amazing, love that. Let's go in and do our kitchen. I think we're gonna keep with that like blue because I really quite like it. And I know that Cottage Living will have those swatches if I wanna do like my kitchen stuff. Back here, we're gonna do a kitchen area. I wonder if I could pull off the white counters. I do find these to be a little bit plain, but I can work around it and we can add lots of clutter to make it look more interesting. Ooh, actually, and I like that blue of the island with the fridge. It's like slightly different, but it still looks nice. We'll do a matching sink right in there and that's it for our essentials. Wait, <gasps> not me forgetting again about the challenge. I'm so carried away with this blue color. Oh my God. I think I need to warm up my coffee. Okay, but you know, the good thing is we're using white counters. So that's a plus. That's not that hard. And you know what? This is a sink. That's a different item. This is a counter that can stay. This, we're gonna replace you with another white counter. Oh no, oh no. Okay, wait, let me get white on my color filter immediately. How many of you guys were screaming? I love when I catch my mistakes before I can like, before you guys can let me know in the comments because I know they're coming. I know they're coming. Okay, dream home decorator right there, done. Now I need some white island pieces. One of them can stay. We'll do the dream home decorator island piece. So that's a different counter. Matching up with that one there. And then this one must go. And we'll replace it with 
this one. And then we can leave this one on the outside so it still has that little like design. It's slightly different, but I think it's okay. And now I need to find a matching bar stool. <laughs> oh my God, not me like flying through that challenge thinking it was easy. I think it's gonna have a nice touch having like mismatching furniture. Like I feel like that gives it a homey vibe, like a real home, not just the Sims like perfect homes all the time. So I'm gonna go in and add some clutter. We're out of the water for that one. That was like a, a tricky part of the challenge. I'm gonna clutter a lot, I think. I want this to look like a really cozy, like family getaway cottage since we are probably gonna have a kid's room upstairs. Our kitchen is looking so cute. There's so much clutter in here. All of the items used only one time and we've got a little hutch in the corner there. Next thing I think I wanna do is a dining room table, which I'm gonna do just right here. And then our living room can be over there and we also have a little bit of a hallway upstairs that we don't fit everything, like bookshelves and stuff. We can put that upstairs, but let's go ahead and do a dining table, which I'm kind of dreading, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm gonna do a big one. Maybe I'll just do like a little, a little guy, like this one. <laughs> Ooh, I have never used these cute tablecloths. I think today is the day, that's adorable. Okay, and now we need chairs that are gonna match. Maybe we aim for white. Our bar stools are white and then I can put like a rug underneath and pull it together. The question is what is gonna match the best? Oh, these ones so far are not bad. I've got Discover University, Cats and Dogs, and I think like Cottage Living. I just need one more with like that type of back. Oh, that one. Why don't I ever use those? Those are so cute. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna go just kind of over to the corner there. I always liked the mismatching look. I think it looks really, really homey. Like I said, I don't know what it is. Okay, and now I can put a rug underneath, which I think I'm gonna do like a circle rug. If I can find one big enough. If not, I'm just gonna forget it, I think. And then we can do another rug like to the side. Okay, cute. I feel like that rug is a little big, but it works. And then on the other side, maybe we'll do the living room more like upstairs. Like we can do a seating area over here. I'll put a couch, maybe bookshelves along this wall here. And then upstairs can be more of the cozy living room like right here. I will say I am fighting a little bit with the roofing. It is bugging me just a little. It's not too bad, but it is enough for me to be like, okay, <laughs> this is a little bit annoying. This build is so freaking cute. Look how cute it is. Okay, I think I need maybe one more thing on here. I'm thinking like the paranormal pictures, like these going up the stairs. I wish you could like flip them. I wish I could make them like going this way, but it's fine. We can actually, no, <laughs> we can just leave it like that. And then this is gonna be the downstairs. Super cute. I feel like the people living here would be like bakers, you know? <laughs> All right, upstairs we go. We're gonna work on this hallway. So now I need to use some different flooring that I used downstairs. We're also gonna have to have different doors. So I haven't used seasons yet. Let's use that one. Or honestly, some of the base game ones are like very similar. Wait, I think that's the move. Like these ones are all different with like slightly different paneling. I did manage to pull this one out a little bit too. And then we're gonna have a bathroom to the side with probably like laundry. Okay, for flooring, let's do cats and dogs. Similar enough to the downstairs. It's not the worst. I can use that for my wallpaper, I think. And then we can do more of like a big seating area here. I'm gonna put a fireplace right there. I wanna put a TV. I just don't know where to put it. Like this window is kind of in the way. I won't lie. Unless we did like one of these, have it off center a little bit and I can put my TV right on top there. I'm thinking we go like vintage like this. I don't know why I like to size that one up, but I do. And now we need another couch because I already used the one downstairs from Cottage Living. What about this paranormal one? With the matching chair or do I do this chair? This house is giving like older family vibes, but not too old maybe. Maybe this family is actually a younger couple who just bought an older house and renoed it. That's the vibe. Okay, we do have a kid that lives here, so I'm gonna have to get some toys. Let's put like a cat in the corner maybe, or the dog. I think I like the dog. We have a bookshelf already downstairs, so we don't have to worry about that. I might do maybe like another skill item back here, just because I have the room. We actually have a lot to do on this lot. Some of these things that are left are surprising me. Like I haven't used the hanging plant yet. We're definitely gonna be doing that. I'm gonna have it hang over the stairs actually. Yeah, this area looks a little bit more chill, a little bit less like formal, I guess, than the downstairs. I like it. Okay, so let's go and do, let's do the first bedroom. Again, gonna have to find some more flooring. Maybe I'll use a carpet in here. I like never use carpet in this game for good reason. I'm not doing it. Okay, I'm gonna use this other one from Cats and Dogs. Um, The one right beside the one that I used earlier. And then for the inside here, ooh, actually, since we're going with that like darker bluey teal color, I'm in love with this wallpaper lately. I wonder if I could make that work. Okay, let's get a bed. My end tables are gonna have to be two different ones. So let's do like those ones. If I cover this part up too, it might not look as obvious that it's a different dresser or a different end table. Which rug have I not used yet? I 
gonna use that plush one from City Living, and then I'm also gonna need some clutter that I haven't used, like a lamp or something. I'm starting to second guess. I'm like, okay, what have I used? For my dresser, I'm gonna use this one here from Cats and Dogs. We'll get a mirror. I think I'm gonna use this one from Jungle Adventure. This bedroom is so cute. Oh, we need that like clothing thing. I'm gonna use the one from Eco Lifestyle. Like this little guy. Yes, we'll put that right there. Love how it matches the blue. And we need more clutter for like this area. This bedroom ended up looking so cute. I love the color scheme. For the decor, I went with the chicken picture. I thought it was so fitting for this build. A couple things that really just matched the like bed and that's gonna be it for this bedroom. Oh, you know what I realized I did? I used the saucer lights all through. Oh no, no, no. We gotta get rid of those. Okay, the bathroom can keep the saucer light. I could have to add so many more lights. You know what's funny is I always check the comments on like challenges like this. If I like accidentally do something like this, it's not because I intended. I literally just forgot. So I always check the comments after to see if I like messed up because you guys will tell me. But now I need to add so much more lighting. Okay, let's do one of those lamps over there. This light when you walk in and we're just gonna get a warmer vibe. It's gonna be fine. I don't have like a single light upstairs. Ooh. Okay, that's better. There we go. We're also like going into nighttime. So like that's as dark as it's gonna get. And then this is just gonna increase the cozy vibes. There, actually, I like that better. <laughs> and that lamp can go up there. We're good, we're good. All right, let's move into the kid's bedroom. Again, with the new flooring and stuff. Oh, let's do like a cute bunny kid's room. Okay, so there's our wallpaper. Oh, this is gonna be like a really soft, like neutral kind of bedroom. I'm gonna use this dresser here, I think. With that mirror there, everything I want to be very muted. It almost looks like a baby's bedroom, like a nursery. Snowy escape rug I haven't used yet. I'm gonna put that right there. Yeah, something about this gives me cozy cozy newborn baby vibes. Maybe I should put a bassinet in here. Does that mean for the kid? This toy box looks really cute in here. Actually, that could maybe go like this or at the end of the bed. I think this is gonna be my kid's room. So I've added a cork board here, which looks similar to that one. I almost thought I messed up again, but we're good. And then, yeah, I like the neutral like color scheme of this. Very cute. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything matching yet in this build. Let's go on to the final room, which will be the bathroom slash laundry, which I just realized I need to do laundry hampers. So I'll do one in there for the kids room. This one will be for the like parents room. And then over here, we'll do our laundry. So let, once again, let's get some flooring and wallpaper. We're gonna do laundry over on this side, like right when you walk in. We'll get a sink and this time I'm gonna use the one from the country kitchen kit. And then on this side, I think I'm gonna do a bathtub. I could really also fit a shower over here. I think I'm gonna do it just cause I have the room. We can move our bathtub over. Now I just have to find a couple plants that I haven't used yet and we're gonna be good to go. I think this is gonna be our bathroom. I'm gonna leave it like that. We've got our laundry. I could even fit maybe one more laundry hamper, like the one that I haven't used yet, right in there. And then, yeah, we are good for our laundry slash bathroom. So that is all I got for you guys for this challenge. I think this build turned out super, super cute. I hope I didn't mess anything up. I don't think I did, but I'm pretty sure this has been me using every single item only one time in The Sims 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this build challenge. I will put this on the gallery under Sydney Macaretta. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.